ingawa quality ya video sio nzuri information is important hello welcome back to the video the last time i was supposed to make this video earlier but i got held up with some of the things that i'm doing but i am back let's get into the business don't want to waste your time this video is about how to get the most out of your course in terms of what, how you can learn more skills how you can make it an advantage for you taking that course instead of it being a burden how you can increase your chances of getting better connections with people and yeah we took a maizo so the first point is you have to look at your course in terms of relevance how relevant is it in this era like right now can it be integrated with ai can it be automated can it help people in form of a community like your course is it outdated ama can it be something that it will grow in future peer so yeah you know your concern of angalie how relevant is it to your era right now or how relevant will it be in future if it's something new the second point is how will that course that you've chosen help the people around you like let's say you've taken a course in in doctorship so you already know that kuko a doctor it talks idea to be able to treat people and help them become better and yeah it will help people around you but if you take a course like i don't even know a course that does not help people so far but if you take a course that is outdated like i was about to say archaeology but <laughs> i think it's pretty relevant because could out of it to me in the past now me to let have many information in the future so if your course is not able to help people around you then most likely it's not relevant to you and to the people around you the third point is with the course that you have chosen who or what do you want to become after you have finished studying it and understanding what it has what it can give you what it entails yeah what do you want to become you should figure that out because you can't be taking a medical course and you tell yourself in the future you want to be a lawyer but that can work actually you can be a lawyer who knows medicine and you are a lawyer for patients i don't know maybe that exists but you should work with a course that is in line with what you want to become in future if you want to become a nurse take a nursing course if you want to become an astronaut take an astronaut course if you want to become an engineer take an engineering course if you want to become a cook take a cooking course so yeah make it equal with what you want to become and if you just want to become an entrepreneur like me take a business course or an entrepreneurship course <laughs> so the fourth point is you should look at that course in relation to which other courses are connected to it because if you take a maybe let's say a business course which other courses are related to it because for me I, I can connect my course with it i can connect it with business other businesses i can connect it with marketing i can connect it with ai i can connect it with medicine like my course has everything else surrounding it so you should find what exactly attaches your course to other people what is it the backbone of many courses or is it an arm or a leg of other courses find out how it is connected with other courses not a ukimaliza shule you know maybe if i'm not able to do exactly what i want with this course i can branch into another course that is connected to yours so yeah look at it in how is it interconnected with others now the fifth point about the course is more of after you've joined the course you can <clears throat> after you've joined and you've learned a couple of units you can take one unit and run with it let's say if your course is too broad like mine had so many things in it i had procurement i had business management i had technology i had 
so many things. So if I wanted to specialize on one thing, I would have gone with procurement or business administration because I have so many options that were taught in form of units. So that can also be something you can look into. Choose where you want to go with a relevant unit that maybe you enjoyed or you'd like to explore more. And yeah, that can also be a path that you can choose because Usijivunje na the whole course ukisema, oh, I want to study everything, I want to understand everything. Yes, you can, but ukiona kama zinakulemea, just look for that one unit that you saw, ikakubamba, and go with it. Continue learning it, look for people who do it, understand how it works, and yeah, you'll be okay. And the last point in the video is you should research about your course. This should have been told to you mkiwa high school badu before we choose course. I wish our teachers told us to reach such on our courses. Ujue, your course exactly. What does it have? Research on it. Find the people who are already doing it or had done it long ago or are advising people about it. Tafuta watu wana itwa experts for that course. Understand what they do know which field they work in, know how that course is relevant to their lives, and translate all that information into what can help you. Like research, research on everything that you need. If you're doing a business, understand how, that, how a business runs. If you're taking a business course, understand how a business runs, understand how to start a business, how to keep a business sustainable, how to make a business relevant, how to shut down a business, how to grow a business. Yeah, look for other people who understand the field that you're studying. Or they could get a real life experience ish. So, yeah, that is the end of the week. It was not long because. So, and I just felt compelled to make this video. I think someone out there is really waiting for it. And I was like, you know what? Let me just take 10 minutes of my time and record this video. In our quality of video, see on Zuri, information is important. So yeah, I wanted to put out this information before, before the week ends. And yeah, happy studying. Research on your course. Understand your course. Love your course. But most importantly, love yourself. Ukichoka na course, you can take a break, take a gap here, come back later, and continue. Usione course ina kupatia stress, useme utangana na yu adi muisho. Uneza course wakufika muisho, jutu ya course kukupea stress. So yeah, bye bye. See you next time.